somebody who says he only put one o original character in there. But he spends all his time hanging out with Lucario, so that should give you an idea of what kind of person he is. Original character in the heaviest of quotation marks. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, okay, hold, hold on a second. I'm gonna check to see what the sounds like. See if we can hear you guys alright. I'm assuming we can, cause... What kind of person no one's is. complaining about original it in the comments. In the heaviest of quotation marks. Yeah. Yep. You know what I don't get, though? What's that? Like, I mean... By the way, we're if good. If you have the ambition to write something that's longer than The Lord of the Rings, why not channel that into something that's not retarded? Because you do realize that you're talking about the internet. By I the way, know, that that this fan the internet. that fan fiction thing is at like 3.5 million words. Sweet Jesus. Yeah, I think the only thing that comes close is like, I think all of Clannad or Fate Stay Night, like the visual novels. Those I think come close because there's just a f metric fuck ton of words in that in those but games. At the same time, isn't there a lot of overlap? Like they're they can't no. actually this in the same run i think so but at the same time there's a lot of like little details that they'll change so it's technically different word count well what I, what i mean by that i mean like if you oh it, man it, it, okay it has a choice system so it spider webs like you can only take you know a specific path can't you um you guys I... are focusing on the wrong thing someone fucking wrote three million words about super smash brothers yeah. I have been ignoring that. Like, I was actively repressing that. Thanks for bringing it back up, eh? There are languages that- there are fucking languages that have less than three million words. Okay, guys, guys, guys. All languages have what do you less than three million words. What do you guys think? Should we do, uh, the hockey mask? Uh, no. No, that scares your no. mountain chops. Why would you want to- Alright, alright. I'm just- I'm just making sure, just making sure. Back to the- I just have- Okay, now you're getting shot at. Alright. No, I think, um, you have to stick with the bug helmet, because... Bug helmet's OP. Exactly. Getting yeah, shot all the just makes you look like a fuck doll. <laughs> 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 I don't know if that's better or not. It's pro it might be. I don't know. It is my plastic waifu. Man, Fallout 3. I forgot how everything was just basically broken shit. Yeah, that's what New Vegas did slightly nicer. It wasn't quite entirely broken shit, it's just like 90% broken shit. Or, it's actually more that like... was a nice ragdoll. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's actually more like 40% broken shit. Because there's a lot of like intact things in Fallout New Vegas. You should collect as many bug helmets as you can. Yeah, no, we're going to because we need to keep this one repaired. So we can continue to get maximum armor rating out of our bug helmet. You just gotta duct tape two bug helmets together. Exactly. <laughs> of course, if we had jury rigging, then we could uh, duct, tape, duct tape stuff that's like bug helmets, like glasses, to our bug helmet and make it better. I still think that'd be awesome if, like... Hold on, you you said that you get companions in this game, yeah? Yes, yes we do. You know what, you, can you give them stuff? Or are they always just the same piece of shit person? Um, I don't think you can change that. I'm not sure how much, I can't remember how much you can change on them in this game. Are you able to give them gear? Yeah, see that's what I don't remember. I know you can in New Vegas, but I can't remember if you can do that in this one, because it's I, really been a long time since I played 3, compared to I New Vegas. because. I kind of hope that you can actually give them stuff, and you can give them a shitty-looking bug helmet that's borderline oh. broken. Dude, if we could, we will. Like, that's but... what I mean. you, need to, you need to collect as many as you can, partially for repairs, and partially in hopes that you can make one of your companions wear a bug helmet, and you can slowly but surely gain a cult. The bug helmet gang. Yeah, yep. bug helmet raiders. You don't fuck with the bug, hel bug helmet gang. <laughs> yeah, man, you know what they did to the last person that messed with them? Shit. Found him back behind the fucking BP with all of his blood sucked out. And he was wearing a bug helmet <laughs> as a warning. We can't tell when one of them's dead and when one of them's, you know, murdered somebody. <laughs> I was confused. All we know about the leader is he's got these really weird mutton chops. They're like pink, <laughs> but it's a really weird kind of pink. It's the kind of pink that kind of turns you on a little bit. All we know about the leader is that he's wearing a fucking bug helmet. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's the only thing. That's all we know. We don't know anything about him. Well, do you know what his typical MO is? Yeah, he beats people to death with a bug helmet. <laughs> it's like the Joker with the whole mask thing, but with bug helmets. Yep. Or with the whole smile thing. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we got some grenades. I'm gonna Does blow that mean some... Does that mean at some point your character will probably look at a guy right before he kills him and says, you know how I got this bug helmet? <laughs> you want to know where I got this mask? You ever dance with the bug helmet in the pale moonlight? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and... Whoop, we're getting shot at. So has anyone had any weird uh, what the save fuck? glitches in the Fallout 3? I don't know, but we're fighting an Enclave person already. Weird. My save glitch, like, my copy of Fallout 3, um, it crashed one time during the whole Liam Neeson child rearing scene where you're customizing your character, and yeah, I had yeah. to reload. Ever since then, I will save the game, the game will save just fine, but when I first load it, I'm back in the crib with Liam Neeson. <laughs> and then I just have to quit out and run Isn't it again. So it's like Le Dr. Liam Neeson telling this little baby the story of grisly murder and random gravel. I'm going to stick with- isn't that the greatest way to wake up anyway, though? You wake up next to Liam Neeson, or is that just me? <laughs> no, that's the best way to wake to, up. Or... Are you fighting Batman? <laughs> no, we're fighting an Enclave, dude. I don't know how. So, yes. You're fighting anti-Batman, because- like, bizarre Batman. He only uses guns. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna just start spamming grenades at him, because fuck if I know. Because Chinese pistol, not so much. No, that was a 10 mil. I'm trying to bats this dude. Oh shit, he shot my grenade. That's the defining feature of the Pip Boys, the ability to pause time and just you can move around your items and shit while you're getting a laser shot. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we had the best shot of our character. <laughs> of him looking angry as he pumps a full clip of ammo into the other guy's skull. I'm sure I'll see this greatness in a second. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw it again on the stream when I was looking down to check on the chat. Oh, it's beautiful. I think it's just the fact that, oh, you can't see his Why eyes. Why the fuck did Adam and the ants break up? <laughs> Why the hell is this Wastelander freaking out? There's more en Enclave people around that I have to fight. Well, didn't you take a shot at the guy? No. Who the hell is this Sam Warwick, and why the hell does he have a sniper rifle? Why are we finding such good weapons already? Power fallouts. So, just out of curiosity, in this, like, I'm assuming that everyone in the upper portion of the world that wasn't, you know... Hiding in a hole is a marauding murderer or something, or they're either ghouls or they're murder or they're yeah. Like you're going shoot to McDonald to... Miller in the chest. Why do we shoot who? McDonald Miller. <laughs> he did look like Miller. Okay. Um. Let's oh, see. Here's my other question, since I feel as though every single time you kill someone, you strip them naked and just let them sit there for a bit. Yeah. Your question? No, I guess that's not really a question. It's more that's of a That's how we case. do in the bug gang, kid. <laughs> <laughs> that's how we roll in bug hat town. We strip them naked with fi ants all over the genitals. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the actual oh, fuck? I don't know who's boss. I, I don't know about you, but I think my balls just went right up into my body. Just kind of uh, tear from that one. Yeah. All right, we need to. Oh god, we are so we've got so much crap because I did not expect us to run into a fucking p guy with power armor this early in the game. Can you put on the par power armor? Do you have to have like a specific rating for it? Before we need you to have. We need to have the training for it, which means yeah, we're. Yeah. I guess we're gonna have to oh, fucking. Bulldoze our way through the story to be able to use this stuff. 
Or just, dude, just leave it in your inventory. It's not going anywhere. Yeah, but it weighs 43 pounds. Yeah, fair enough. You, I'm assuming you don't have a box you can put all your shit in and come back to it. Not yet. If we take care of that whole, uh... I think we can get a key to... We can probably get a key for, um, whatever, for Megaton if we can, once we get a level up. Yeah. Well, okay. Why don't you do that, and you can put the power armor away and just hang on to it. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna... In the meantime, we're gonna... Oh, yeah, we did decripple our head. Sweet. I do like how you need an operating license for what amounts to really good pants. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. All right, let's uh, let's dump some of these grenades. No, don't dump the hunting rifle. I like hunting rifle. Give me oh, back hunting rifle. Under the dude, why not hang under the grenades and just you know spam them for a bit? Use those instead of pistols. It'll be amazing. Because this is the speed we walk at when we're over encumbered. We move. Yeah. We basically tiptoe our way around. Yeah, fair enough. It's called stealth. Thank you very much. <laughs> Exactly. Somehow when we stealth, we move even slower. <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna throw a couple grenades. Moving yeah. so slow, I'm actually walking backwards. There we go. <laughs> throw two grenades, we are fine. We could've blown up another car, but that's okay. Blown up that car was the best thing that ever happened to us. Cause the it... cops get out there, they're like, I don't know what it is. I mean, they stripped him naked and then they left piles <laughs> of clothes around him. What's it mean? <laughs> There's some vodka? We have no idea what's going on here. Oh, speaking of which, I've got booze. Woohoo! Oh, you just realized that now? I was having fun, damn it! <laughs> wow, we don't King need Huskies tells to is, have fun. King Huskies is telling me to butt fuck a raider. You can always go Drinking back and is for wasteoids. Oh, yeah, well, right. I guess I now know what I am. You don't need to drink if you have the Battlestar Galactica collectible card game. <laughs> <laughs> I have the Resident Evil deck building game. Is that close enough? <laughs> that actually exists, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it does, dude. And it's actually really fun. Oh wow! You can play as wow. Wesker and throw people in the mansion. I'm not okay, that's good. This. Like Why, it, is it there plays a, a position of that. Well, it's it's like it plays a little bit like Munchkin, except instead of breaking down the door, you go in the mansion. Sounds I might have to pick that up. The only thing I didn't like about Munchkin is I thought the art was just terrible. So. Oh, the art was terrible. That was I mean, part of the charm. Yeah, Some would say that's it. part of the charm. I just say that's shitty art. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's it's like, hey, look, we're gonna go ahead and you know be cartoony. Well, whatever. Yeah, I think but the thing that always pissed it's... me off is that, I don't know about you, like, the entire point is cheating. Yeah. And the downside is, is that, after a little while, if you aren't really, you know, good at, you know, keeping an eye on people, everyone has, like, a hand of, like, 20 cards and is just constantly dicking each other. <laughs> Chives, at one point, there. at one point, our friend Chives actually took half of a stack of the treasure cards and put it under his leg, and nobody noticed for a good chunk of the game. No, we, we, I think you, Laura, and I noticed. We just didn't care. Munchkin is just the natural evolution of every other card game ever. Yeah, basically. Yep. But... I mean, if you think about it, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Magic, it's all, you have an established set of rules, and you have cards that allow you to break them. Oh, so... Pretty much. Um, the Resident Evil card game's a lot of fun. Basically, the entire point of the first set is you go through until you find the Ouroboros monster, and that's the boss. Once you kill it, then whoever whoever has the most ranking points win. Whoever has the most points from killing other stuff wins the game. That dude in the chat just said Yins. Is... But are you from uh, up on the East Coast, like say Pittsburghish, Pennsylvania Indian, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvanian pencils, pe pencil, uh, pencil. Give pencils something. for a deck. You have. <laughs> Do you ejaculate graphite? I don't know what I'm talking about. Do you ejaculate pencils? <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> somebody's already throwing grenades at us. They're not... They're not mincing words. Oh, it's you. Hi, buddy. <laughs> oh, my God. This guy looks like Roberto from Zeta Gundam. Oh, shit. 
Well, Roberto from Zeta Gundam, if Roberto 